Yankees are certainly a circus. To say nothing of the Mets and their amazing Coleman, the fire thrower. <laughs> but where's the bread? I say if you're rich enough to be slurping shrimp at a baseball stadium that you, by the way, blackmailed the city into building for you, then the least you could do is buy bread for the proletariat sitting in the bleachers. So that's my plan. Bread for the bleachers. Yeah. <laughs> right. I've, I've reached the people again. Everyone sitting in the bleachers gets one loaf of bread upon entering the stadium, compliments of the skybox. And not the crappy white con either, but a decent loaf of bread. And maybe some sort of spread. <laughs> well, that's my solution to the sports problem. I'll turn it over to our next commissioner of baseball. I'm Bill Maher. This has been a modest proposal. All right, I want to thank my guests, Jim Morris, Lynn Merton, Michael O'Donoghue, and Joe Queenan, and I'll see you on the next Politically Incorrect. Bye, bye. <laughs>Welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm Joel Robbins, and we're just waiting for this week's experiment. This is Crow T. Robot. Oogie Oogie. And this is Tom Servo. You got bugles? I love bugles. You know, you know, you guys, I was just talking to TV's Frank, and he was saying how this week's movie is in black and white. Pretty cool, Oh, huh? no, not another black and white. Oh, come on, Crow. Black and white's gritty. It helps get across the harsh realism that is everyday life. Oh, gee, sounds like fun. The way I see it, Robinson, mm. the Jodes had a depressing enough life mm. as it was, and then they filmed it in black and white. Mm. Give me color! Give me some pizzazz! Hey, what do you think, Tom Servo? Uh, about what? Well, you know that how some of our movies are in black and white, and some of our movies are in color. Uh, I'm not sure I understand the question. Oh, come on! Movie A, color. Movie B, black and white. Well, look, we can't all notice the same subtleties. Subtleties? Uh, Why, that's not even the point of the... Just a second, Crow. Um, what? What? Tom, what color is my jumpsuit? Red. Okay, and what color is Crow? Red. Commercial sign in five, four, three, two... What, what color is Dr. Dr. Forrester? Red, what about it? Okay, I think I know what's wrong. We'll be right back. If you watch only one 
five-minute movie this year, make sure it's this one. Spunk, the Tanya Harding story, a Comedy Central world premiere movie on short, attention span theater. Tuesday at 8, here at Comedy Central, the only all-comedy network. After a lifetime in the public eye, former First Lady Tess Carlisle retired. <laughs> But she did not go quietly. What do we look like? Where's... Just ask the Secret Service agent. It's the worst assignment there is. Guarding Tess. You'd be kind enough to get my ball. Why me? Because I like you, Douglas. Yeah. Please hold for the president. You know, maybe you two have some kind of sicko thing going on. No, 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 sir. No, Guarding sir. Tess. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, March 11th. What's your favorite line? The one my mother hung a wash on. Yours? We were so rich, my parents had my nanny bronze. I go to a bar that's so cheap, they have a happy minute. All right, here's a good line. I'm on a seafood diet. I know. I see food, I eat it. Have a prune. The best line comes from a pilot pen, because pilot's patented liquid ink pens deliver a smooth, flowing line. Now, that's a great line. But AIDS is nothing to laugh about. That's why pilot gives part of each sale to AIDS research. Through the years, the mothers of America have had a kind of medical training. They've learned from countless doctors and pharmacists that the way to take care of a cough is with Robitussin. And now at home, the mothers of America are putting this advice to work. Robitussin, recommended by Dr. Mom. Which Robitussin is right for you? Ask your doctor or pharmacist. And for your little patient, try Robitussin pediatric cough and cold formulas. Hi, I'm Chris Elliott. I just want to talk to you about some things you might not know about cable. Have you heard of cable in the classroom? No. It's revolutionizing teaching as we know it. Good. It's giving teachers a whole new way to teach and children a whole new way to learn. Really? Do you know that cable is providing commercial-free programming free of charge to teachers? How beautiful. It's going to change the future and, and make us better human beings in the process. That's great, Chris. I think I got my point across best I can. Who's next? You have a very kind face. Tom, now cut it out. I said you were colorblind, not blind. I might as well be. For all the azure skies I've missed, all the green fields and apple blossoms I've never truly seen. When I think of the elaborate <laughs> stories you've had to invent oh. to cover for the hideous lie you've been living, oh, oh Tom, it wouldn't have mattered to me. <laughs> you guys, you guys, oh, you're, you're, you guys, God. listen to me. You're taking this all too seriously. I, I think Tom just has a simple red-green color deficiency. Oh, oh uh, Joel, Bosch and Lahm are calling. Oh, you're colorblind. Uh, what color is this? <laughs> what color is this? <laughs> Sorry. Well, Joel, you may not know that Frank and I, with a little prompting from the Utney Reader, have been hosting a weekly discussion salon. Yet with our hectic schedules, oftentimes our guests will arrive before we've had time to properly review Susan Paludi's backlash, much less give the apartment that suitable bohemian look. That's why we've developed these new beanbag pants. Now, these pants uh, allow you to relax anywhere uh, and to sit down and have a nice hot cup of talk. Uh, Oh, Frank, why haven't you put your pants on yet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, of course. I kid Baby Frank, got but... back! Ugh. Actually, you know what? They're perfect for sit-ins. Imagine just once integrating a southern lunch counter in cushy comfort. Yes, indeed, and they're perfect for those whispery discussions of white guilt with good friends. Frank? You know, I thought that the invention lacked a certain je ne sais quoi, a certain depth. Uh, I disagree, and yet it's so refreshing to meet someone with a fresh opinion like yours. Gosh, sirs, that actually seems like a really nice idea, promoting open dialogue and social change. Today's invention exchange from the Satellite of Love is based on the premise that it's a really good idea to wear recycled paper as clothing, and we've got a persuasive presentation to prove it. I'm Gypsy, and yesterday's news is tomorrow's fish and chip paper. Remember the pigeon? That's right, Gypsy. Her dress was a tree, then it was a pile of newspapers, now it's a dress, and soon it'll be a pithy greeting card. Pretty responsible, eh? I'm Crow, and my suit is made entirely out of used Viva paper towels. I wear it to the discos, because I'm the quicker picker-upper. <laughs> <laughs> How true, Crow. So absorbent. 
You know, you could spill soup, drool, or even drop a pitcher of margaritas on him, and he'll remain warm and dry. And I'm Tom Servo, and I may be colorblind, but it's plain to see I'm wearing a dress. What am I, that girl? Maybe so. In that case, you can't afford to be seen in the same thing twice. Change in a flash with our flash paper clothing. Just one flick of the bick and... Uh oh Whoa! Oh, 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 for crying out loud, not only am I colorblind, I'm flash blind now, too. Oh, jeez, I'm going to go lay down. Oh, oh, jeez. There go the drapes. What do you think, sirs? Sorry we missed that, Joel. Uh, anyway, your movie this week is called Manhunt in Space. But first, a little kinescope suppository from our video depository. It's an old general hospital. Oh, we are. Oh, don't make me walk all the way over there, Phil. This will cheer you up, Benny. I called Cynthia and asked her to dinner, and she accepted to celebrate the engagement. Thanks, Nurse Ratchet. It's great. Well, certainly it was your idea. It's what you wanted. Right. right, I said it was great. Dinner? We'll have a ball. It really cheered you up, eh, Phil? Shapers. It's over here. I will now perform a modern dance to express my true feelings. Well, this is about general hospital stuff. You know, those little wrist tags, billing, that kind of thing. Hospital is brought to you by Kendall Ray. <laughs> Going up, Mr. Tyler. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, can I get a excuse? Sorry. Oh. Sounds like general hospital on ice. Good morning, Lucy. Good morning, Jackie. I'll get it. He's the dark nurse of the soul. Mm -hmm. Yes, Dr. Hardy. The new X-rays on Mrs. Lyons. Well, I wouldn't know. I just came on duty. Hmm. I think she's been into the Percodan. Yes, yeah. I'll bring you in if they're here. Lucille? Yeah. The tilt film on Mrs. Lyons. Has it come up the next day? Oh, yes. Here, here are your headshots you. for the Young and the Restless audition. It's a new car! Oh, yeah. Hello, I've been in the bell tower all morning. Good morning, Dr. Brewer. Good morning, Lucille. Jeff here? Yes, she just came on duty. Yes, she just came on duty. Didn't you come to the hospital together? No, I left the apartment before she did. Took a walk. See what you can do about making this lobby spookier. Mm -hmm. Jeez, he really sucked the air out of this room. All right. I guess it's a wonderful but weird institution, eh, Clampett? I wouldn't know, Miss Mullen. Not very no, bright. Looking at it from the other end of the stethoscope, neither would I. Uh, Swiss Miss, will you give me another cup of cocoa? More letters on how unappealing you are, sir. She kind of looks like Uncle Milty. Mm. Mm, here comes Nurse Faratu. No, I think everybody admitted this hospital commits suicide. Mm. Mm. Jesse? No! Did you decide to invite oh Cynthia God, and right. Ken Martin to dinner to celebrate the engagement? Do you want to invite Cynthia and Ken Martin to dinner to celebrate the engagement? Help clear the air. I don't know, Phil. So I'm having my doctor very smart. I wonder it's what Phil suggested, isn't it? Phil? Well, Phil suggested, but I'm not very sure that he really wants oh, it. Oh, Phil this, Phil that. Everything's Phil, Phil, Phil. What are they going to do? Well, it'll sort of make the engagement official. It's going to make the engagement official. Cynthia's going to marry Ken Martin. That's what it'll do. That's what it'll do. Well, at least I hope you're right. Would you please take a breath, Mint? Oh, excuse me. Hi, oh. Doctor. So, uh, what's the barber doing here? Oh, I'd like to countersign the medication for Mr. Turner. Oh, yeah. Say. Geez, he was old even then. <laughs> I'll be in Martha Lyons' room. Yes, Dr. Hardy. Good morning, Jesse. Good morning, Dr. Hardy. Man, I still got it, don't I? Damn, I'm good. Good morning, Jesse. Was a stroke of genius. Oh, doctor, do you mind? I think you're being a little unfair. Well, of course She's nude. I know that you're a doctor, and maybe it is a simple case of indigestion, mm, but I'm worried. I want to be absolutely sure that there's nothing wrong. Oh, my bird is here. Gotta go. George, Dr. Hardy just came into the room. He looks as though he might have some news for me. Oh, it's just about that suit with yes, teeth and hair. He does. Yes, I'll call you back, dear. Bye. 
Hi, that was uh, Vince yes, Edwards. He gave me a second opinion. Yes, Walter. There is something wrong with me? Yes, you've been hospitalized. You have what's known as a hiatus hernia. <gasps> Which means I win the pool, but that's beside the point. What is that? Well, it's nothing to be too alarmed about, but it is to be taken seriously, and it's quite rare. Nothing an expensive operation can't How complicate. How are you able to diagnose that? Those uh, last x-rays, we took the tilt x-rays, they revealed it. And you might have noticed you've been vomiting a lot lately. What is it? I've never heard of it. A hiatus hernia? Are you calling me a liar? Get out! Get out! Well, the body sees a hernia as a series of ones and zeros. Where the esophagus goes into the stomach. The constriction is most likely to happen when the stomach is full, after you've had something to eat or drink. Uh, is this going to be on the final? More simply, when the stomach enlarges, it gets pinched at this opening. To put it even more simply, you eat like a pig. After all my doubts. I'm Eric Stoltz in mask. And all of George is insisting that there was nothing wrong with me. Hmm. That bastard. There is something wrong with me. Yes. Yes, you're a spooky New York actress. I was pretty sure your pain wasn't imaginary. In fact, the pain associated with a hiatus hernia is very intense. And it's almost identical to a coronary occlusion or a heart. Here, let me punch you in the sternum to simulate Why, pain. Why the pain go away after a few minutes? Well, it usually disappears when you get up and walk around, doesn't it? Hint, hint. Well, then you see, the stomach has more room. Well, I could see how that would... Huh? Steve, can something be done to this? No, of course. <coughs> My first suggestion is that you try a couple of weeks of hospital care with special attention to diet. And then I'll do my Gregory Peck impression. can't cure the condition that way or, or come close to it. We may have to consider surgery. Surgery? Well, let me assure you, Martha, there's no great cause for alarm. Oh, it's dangerous and painful, but don't worry. And I'm very hopeful that we can get rid of it without surgery. I have performed surgery once before, although the person didn't survive. I feel confident. Who's going to tell my husband all about this? How about his wife? I will, if you like. But I think it might be a better idea if you told Dr. Lyons yourself. Maybe you could use a puppet. Of course, I'll be happy to answer any questions he might ask or, or have a consultation with him about it. George is going to be very upset. He hates hiatus hernias. Because you really have something wrong? Well, not only that, it, it's you. Hmm. You proved that he was wrong. And he said that it was indigestion or just my imagination. Running away with Martha. Hey, this hernia is a difficult thing to diagnose. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's very difficult. Well, look at the trouble I had. And I'm brilliant. Yes, but you did diagnose it. Mm hmm. Okay, so your husband's a putz. Anyway, for a couple of weeks, we'll give you plenty of rest and a special diet. So don't worry, we'll take good care of you. Now, about that hair. Will you come in to see me? You're my patient, remember? And don't forget we've scheduled that lobotomy first thing Monday morning. And now taking the ice, your Minnesota North Stars. <laughs> Here's what happens when Comedy Central takes on politics. Every night at 11.30, you get to see a group of people you never put together in one room. We sort of strap them to their chairs and get them to talk about the most heated, uncomfortable, controversial topics. Then, for extra added pleasure, we pull the whole thing together with Bill Maher, a guy who just loves to throw gasoline on the fire. Watch them all squirm. It's fun. Watch Politically Incorrect. It's got more laughs than Clinton has affairs. Allegedly. Weeknights at 11.30 with an all-new show every Friday night here at Comedy Central. You need to satisfy the cheese lover in you, but you only have an hour. What do you do? Well, Comedy Central has taken the best Mystery Science Theater 3000s and split them in half. So now you can see part one one day, part two the next. It's the Mystery Science Theater Hour. Morning, Ron. Hi, Phil. Very nice boots you're wearing there. Araya Wan, this is Iron Man. How do you copy over? On a Xerox machine, you. Get the cheese you need in half the time. Watch the Mystery Science Theater Hour. Weeknights at 8 here at Comedy Central. For Lelena Pierce... You look beautiful. You you look like a doily. Having a boyfriend... I'm a non-practicing Jew. Hey, I'm a non-practicing virgin. ...might mean losing her best friend. Did he dazzle you with his extensive knowledge of mineral water? Ha! <laughs> 
It's not a yuppie. It's the reason why Cliff Notes were invented. Winona Ryder, Ethan Hawke, Ben Stiller. It's the first comedy knockout of the year, says Rolling Stone magazine. Reality Bites. Rated PG-13. Starts tomorrow at theaters everywhere. The Fresh Maker. So your little brother's joining us, huh? He's not so little anymore. All right, now let's move it. Three, oh. He's what, 19? Wait, setting 540 F14. Jeff's landing planes. Four gear lens set. No. $40 million jets. Today's Navy. High tech training that takes you only one way. Full speed ahead. Primary's off. Good job, guys. You and the Navy. Jeff? See? Uh, he's not so little anymore. Full speed ahead. <laughs> if you're tired of those automobiles that isolate, insulate, and virtually remove you from the outside world, may we recommend the 1994 four-wheeler of the year, Land Rover's new Defender. It can make life a bit more exciting. You're at Comedy Central. Coming up at 2, watch Pepsi's A-List. At 2.30, watch 2 Drink Minimum. Wow, look at all the juji fruits. Mm. Well, I saw Howard Hunt in space. I saw Linda Hunt in space. I saw Hunt Hall in space. Oh. Mm -hmm. An adventure of tomorrow for today's troubled teens. Tracy and Hepburn, Bogart and Call, Mansfield and Leiden. Hmm. Mama Maurice Cass. Hmm. This really, really is a Lestrange movie. <laughs> or a <laughs> Strang movie. Cough up a Roy Luby. Ooh. Oz never did give nothing to Bill Tinsman <laughs> that he didn't. didn't know. I wanted a furl after I read the screenplay. <laughs> Hi, guy. <laughs> Arthur Pearson, the inventor of the salted nut roll. Oh, is the great Hollingsworth Morse going to direct? <laughs> this is the part where the um, zag nut is fertilized by the salted nut roll. Ooh. Look, it's the MST3K logo up there. What are supposed to know about <clears throat> Athena. Oh. Reggie. Bad dog. Bad dog. Steel graph open. You know I'm expecting to hear from Rocky. I wanted to bring in Casa Seven. There it is. It's a Crunchberry. <laughs> Time's up. I contacted Casa Central Control Station, and they're holding communications open. Can I speak to my brother, Paul? Well, I asked for him. They said he's at the landfill inspecting construction on the new landing platform. I'll soon see him. In hell. It'll be wonderful. Mm. How long since you've seen your brother, Vina? An hour. Almost three years. Mm. He'll be on the Casa 7 project another five years. Mm. What happened, Reggie? Ah, oh, the Playboy Channel's scrambled again. All well, the instruments are dead. So am I. Well, it seems normal. This is weird. So am I. Check the rockets. Rocket thrust to zero. Gee, that makes me bitter. Well, and the animation sucks, too. Oh, brother. MC7, are they any relation to the MC5? Maybe. This thing has neutralized every bit of our equipment. Even my acting. There's not a thing we can do about it. No way to check speed or position and not a chance to make contact with anyone. It's not How fair. We have us under robot control. I don't know, Bina. I just don't know. I don't know of any way of finding out. Might as well just fade this scene out. And this is what the Heritage Foundation will look like if you contribute. Exterminate! 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 Sure hope my support belt holds up. Just kept that spaceship physiograph busy for an hour. She knew I was going to call. 
Well, she's having a vacation, Rocky. Now, for me, let me relax with a little black book and a gay nightlife. Uh, uh, insert I joke here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here, relax, Rocky. I'll give you a couple of choice pages. Here's Christopher, oh, Trevor, Todd, Kyle. Oh, hmm? You're in the army now. No. You don't always get your child. Oh, Mr. You'll never Secretary. Get rich, but... I'm glad I found you in Rocky. But I'm not There's in Rocky. Something I'd like to discuss, if it doesn't upset your plans. It won't, sir. After all, this is your off-duty period. Oh, the, uh, we can report it once, Mr. No, I won't be able to the No. You know, by 1980, everyone will have phones well, like this. Kiss the beautiful girls goodbye. Mm. And the gay nightlife. And the gay nightlife. Uh, so but he's I'm talking about... Well, oh, never mind. We're not ready for mission. Well, that's all right, sir. Uh, I can take care of canceling our vacation plans, I guess. Canceling your vacation? Perhaps I should assign someone else to the mission. How about Major Healy? Mr. Secretary. That's right. We'd rather ride the rocket, sir. <laughs> Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. I don't know where this problem is going to lead. I don't it's know how to love. <laughs> Well, sir, you know us. We're not happy unless we're in trouble. Well, no, uh, I mean... <laughs> get I out, get mean. out! First, I'll fill you in on some of the details. I've prepared us all. The United Worlds, as you know, are fortifying the planetoid Casa 7 as a joint control station for our entire solar system. I did not know oh, that. Oh, yes, Professor Newton told us something about the project. In preparing Casa 7, each of the United Worlds is furnishing strategic and in most cases, restricted materials. And they're releasing it to teens. But lately, there have been disturbing reports of cargo spaceships vanishing on the way to Car 7. Hmm. That been official. Yes, Higgins. Do, do, do. Good We're in on. contact by Visiograph with Mars, sir. They request Secretary Drake. I'll take it on my receiver. Excuse me, boys. I have to take this. You understand? There's my Lichtenstein. More calling Orson. More this is calling Drake, Orson. Speaking from Earth. Speaking from Mars. Runus here. Hmm? This is the final report on our supply spaceship Double M en route to Casa 7. It is now two moon cycles overdue. I'm so ashamed. We hmm. must presume it to be lost. Space Rangers are being assigned immediately to investigate the entire situation of missing cargo ships. I know you'll keep us informed, Mr. Secretary. You'll have a report within a solar month. Greetings from Earth, Runus. Greetings from Mars. Ciao, baby. Secretary right back Drake. at you. What a jerk. Sorry you had to see that. You heard. That's the third spaceship vanished within a week. You know, of course, sir, that Vena's on her way to Costa 7 on a cargo ship. That's right, sir. Rocky's been trying to call Vena. I've been unable to make contact. And frankly, sir, I'm a bit worried. We'll put your mind at ease. Sir. I've got something that'll put you through the floor, boys. Mm. Higgins. Send in the clouds. Yes, sir. But don't bother. There. Get here. a report from Casa 7. I want to know if cargo spaceship CM7 has landed. And bring me some sleepy we'll time tea. Minutes, Rocky. We want to find out what's happening to the cargo ships. Oh, I'm sure it can be done, sir, by using our space station. Scott Tracy. You're the troubleshooter, Rocky. Anime. Run down every possibility. We've got to find the answer, or there'll be repercussions throughout our entire system. Jin, get Denno. Round up every known hood on the island. The report from Casa 7, sir. Let's have it. It says, Help! Was last heard from as it was about to enter the gravity field for the approach. Since then, there's been no word Man, from the ship. Ever bite. I need a career change. Contact with it Ugh. have failed. CM7 has disappeared into space. Thank it's you, Higgins. Very good. Very good indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Very with your good. permission, sir, I'd like to start by tracing spaceship CM7. Of course. This mission is in your hands. Good. We can blast off within the hour. Winky. I wonder if Winky has a nickname. Ha! <laughs> Get the orbit jet ready for blast off, Winky. I'm going to see Professor Newton for a moment. The rockets will be ready to roar. Oh, I'd like to slap him so hard. Kids, close that door. We're not trying to heat the outside. Come on. And that's how cattle are inseminated. No, we move on. Now, we'll have to give this at least a four-hour exposure, Bobby. Well, that's the longest one yet. How come you don't have to wear stretch pants, Grandpa? Oh, Rocky, 
We're making some wonderful pictures of Scorpus with hydrogen light. Yeah, that's great. What we need are some trick snapshots of Casa 7. Your tone tells me there's trouble. Perhaps, but I don't know what it is, Professor. Except that it concerns Casa 7. Vladimir Horowitz. Secretary Drake will tell you the whole story. This much I wanted you to know. Venezon has vanished in space. I want to help, Rocky. Please let me help. This is one time I'd like to say no, Bobby, but I can't. <laughs> you outranked me. Thanks a million. You won't be sorry. We'll find Vina. I'm you already we sorry, will. Bobby. Now run along, get packed. Meet us at the blast off platform. Not a word of our meetings, Bobby. Professor Newton, how are the big cookies coming along? I don't know where this flight is going to take us. Maybe to the far limits of our solar system. Maybe to the darkest reaches of our souls. Do you wish to ask me, Rocky? Yes, yes Professor. Did you ever dance with the devil in the anything, pale moonlights? Any new discovery still held secret that might help us? Yes, there is. But I've been fearful of even discussing it. Except with Bobby. Only used, it could have cataclysmic results. Vina's life may be at stake. There you go. Here. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. I'll show you. I'll show you the power of cold light. Cold light? Peggy, I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. Oh, my God. What is it? Is it a hiatus hernia? No, it's not that. Is it the heartbreak of psoriasis? No, it's not that. Is it Mogo on the gogo? -go? No, I'm afraid it's much worse than that. Oh, please, Doc, tell me what it is. Well, it seems that when you were walking down the hall earlier, the back of your hospital gown was open and everyone could see your butts. I'll never live down the shame. <laughs> you know, my dear, in tough situations like yeah. this, I've found in the past that the best thing a patient can do oh. is be comforted by me, Dr. Chad Fieldcart. Oh. You ah. can't! Oh. I know you were cheating on me! I can, I ex think you went into I can explain, oh. darling. Oh. 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 Hey! Oh. Nice butt! Oh. Oh. I know I can oh. comfort you. I'll never live down the other oh. Oh, Peggy, hey. I can comfort you. Oh. Hey, wait, say, what's going on here? Oh, no, it's Dr. Joe Robinson, the heart-drinking, two-fisted, cantankerous, yet lovable hospital administrator. I am not. Oh, no, and he's suffering from amnesia. Oh, the pain hey, of the misery. You guys, I'm not going to play soap opera with you. When I was nine years old, my sister made me play soap opera. I'm not going to play soap opera. I won't play soap oh, opera. Shit. Okay, Cam, that's it. That's it. All right, that's it. That's it. Who's next? Get the cheese you need in half the time. Check it out. I'm giving Houston the finger. <laughs> Watch the Mystery Science Theater Hour, weeknights at 8, here at Comedy Central. I will not have the first losing season in 40 years at this university. The only thing that can save Pete Bell's job is a miracle. Behold, the miracle. He's never been coached. He's totally raw. Neon, um, please try not to step on the children. Okay, all right. Nick Nolte and Shaquille O'Neal. Blue Chips, rated PG-13. Starts Friday, February 18th. You're looking at the most powerful import pickup ever built. The new 4-liter V6 Mazda truck. What all the beautiful people are driving this year. You work harder, you get better, right? But working to condition my perm made it flatter. Then I found this, Perk Plus, just right for perms. Using a separate conditioner after you shampoo can flatten your perm. This is better. It leaves hair fuller. It cleans gently, then conditions just where you need it. So your hair is fuller and soft, too. Perk Plus for permed and color-treated hair. Fuller hair, no fuss. L.A. Tech Leap Gear. Banned by the NBA. Too distracting for the league. Too extreme for the pro game. Well, too bad for them, because Foot Locker's got them. The new Leap Gear. They light when you leap. And the new Light Gear Cross Trainers. They light when you land. 
with the new L.A. Tex. Get them at Foot Locker before we're out. After most meals and snacks, plaque pH can fall to levels where acid starts attacking teeth. These attacks can last up to two hours, increasing the risk of damage to your tooth enamel. That's when chewing extra sugar-free gum can help. When you chew for 20 minutes, the chewing action produces and distributes more of your mouth's natural defense, saliva, which helps neutralize acid within minutes. So in addition to regular dental care, after eating, chew Wrigley's Extra Sugar-Free Gum, because chewing helps nature fight the acid attack. Today, our most shocking case to date. During the week, Leonard Connor's a mild-mannered ad executive, but on weekends, he becomes Leonard Connor phone junkie. His crime? Leonard didn't take advantage of Sprint's new offer to split the cost of weekend calls. But it's not too late for you. Call Sprint now and get 50% off all weekend long when you sign up for Sprint's long-distance calling plan the most. You'll get guaranteed savings automatically to the number you call most each month. And right now, you'll also save 50% on your weekend calls. That's half off every weekend from now until July 31st. Call right now and they'll switch you to the most for free. And with 50% off weekends, you can talk twice as long for the same money. Now that's great news, especially if you're a weekend phone junkie. And we know there are a lot of you out there. Turn yourself in now before it's too late. After all, an offer this good can't last forever. Don't wait. Call now, 1-800-621-7490 and save 50% all weekend long. They must have seen us. The ship Thanks was coming a lot, in Joel. Mm -hmm. Identified, mm -hmm. it didn't have any markings. It may have come from Casa 7. We'll soon find out. Can they come alongside us? Yes, I'm sure the magnetic lock's in operation. Wow, that was better than I thought. Oh, inside. Mm. Probably aligning the airlock hatch. It's an old lady. She rear-ended him. Mm. What are they doing, Joe? They're telling secrets. Ah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. They reached the hatch. We're connected now. Oh, hang on a minute. Got to put my head in the salad spinner. There. Oh, he didn't even turn the handle. My, what a cheap, crummy special effect. Blondie, I'm home. I brought Mr. Dithers along. <sighs> Boy, I told you to find adventure, not bring it home with you. Hi, can I be submissive for anyone? Are you from Casa 7? Uh, I can no. if you want me to be. On Casa 7, they don't even know you're alive. And you're the ones who neutralized our equipment. Ooh. You're real bright to figure that out for yourself. How Thanks, that's nice of you. Hey! Relax, or you won't be alive. Um, anyone for coffee? Um, uh, uh, I'll just wait here then. Oops, buddy. Hey, check this out. There's a ton of cool stuff in here. Oh, cool. You don't even have to push any buttons to get in. This is, cr oh man, this is where they store their costumes. It's fantastic. VCRs, Nintendo, it's great. Fudge. <laughs> Oh, I'll throw this caramel apple at him. Do do do, nothing behind my back. Mm -hmm. Hi. Ah! Little song, little grace, little salsa in your face. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> Casa Seven, love it or leave it, buddy. You're gonna play Limbo real low. Oh, I think it's played by Trip Shakespeare. <laughs> Vina, your space gun. But what about it? Oh, oh, I should get it. Okay, fine. If you have to, use it. Ask questions later. Mm -hmm. I'll get through to Casa 7 on the astrophone in their ship. But if I shoot him, I can't ask questions. No, you see, it's a figure of speech. Uh -oh. I know what you're thinking. Did I shoot six shots of self? <laughs> All right, hand me that terrarium now. Mm. Ouch. Well, Mrs. Carmichael. Go over there. Okay, Come now on. bark like I a dog and you to. start chewing the other one's Hurry leg. Up. Malvina, you'll drop it. He's doing a grand jeté. Look. Get 
right over there. Nice work. If you can get it, you're a couple you of smart operators. It. Only you don't have any brains. But, now see if you can get their cargo into our ship without tripping over it. But you just said we were smart. Oh, I get it. Awkward. Mm. <laughs> so, Rinkman, you've ended up as a space pirate. At least you can't sink any lower. Well, it's I a very could profitable date you. business, Vina. And to get it, you destroy spaceships. Oh, well, it... Huh? Hey, it's the Sucker Brothers. <laughs> well, you know, I saw a kid, a college kid, stick his head in a party ball one time. Mm. You won't be harmed. Mm. We've just neutralized your ship's rockets and equipment. And your stomach acid. Why are we still in normal flight? You're not. You're revolving around Casa 7 in a fixed orbit. Mm. Just like the moon revolves around the Earth. How? Oh. We cut your power and neutralized your equipment. And, and pass the savings on to you. Balanced against the gravity of Casa 7. That's what happened to the other ships you've pirated. That's right. Uh, You'll be revolving around Casa 7 for the next million years. Or until a piece of meteoric waste hits the ship. Or until I turn into sure Robert Stack. identified, I'll have the markings removed from your ship. You have found a new way to commit murder. You noticed. Well, don't give me any credit, Vina. Dr. Vanko worked it out. I just make sure that no other spaceship bothers you. Why, you, you person, you... There goes a Norway! Yeah. Oh, our air isn't good enough for the Johnsons. They have to bring their own. Ringman? It's a boy. It's the last of it. I'll send your pilot back. You don't have to yell. I'm sitting right next to you. Oh, I almost forgot. Your dad In called. In case you're expecting help from Rocky Jones, forget it. He's out of commission. I've got a decoy spaceship waiting for him. The orbit jet will be blown to bits. <laughs> I can't pretend I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> the orbit jet. The orbit jet is going. The orbit jet is going. Crap. So, uh, which ship is theirs? The phallic one or the phallic one? Oh, I think it's the phallic one. Oh. Uh? We'll call you. Thanks for breakfast. Oh, boy, now. Way to go, Bob. Do we have a chance? No use kidding ourselves, Avina. Nope. It's like a million to one shot that we'll ever be seen. Oh, they're on Comedy Central. Like finding a tiny fragment in infinite space. Until our food gives out, or a meteorite hits us. That's the deal, Vina. Vina, when I go, I want you to roast me and eat me. All of it. Right Whiskey now, I'm hungry. Too. I'll get lunch. Mm. Hazel, will you cook up something for dinner? Okay, Mr. B. Winky, what's our position? Leaning towards Perot. Well, let me see if I can read it. Yeah, you have to be hey, 18, what are you kid. I do get my job as navigator. Well, you know I wouldn't take anything that cheers your off. Go ahead and read it for me. Yeah, you. read it, boy. Read it. Do the funny voice. Position celestial meridian, longitude 219 degrees 20 minutes. What is this, radio eyes? Parallel, latitude 76 degrees 4 minutes. <laughs> Good work, Bobby. Oh, Winky. Yeah, Rocky. Jettison right, Bobby. Cost of seven. They still have no word from Venus spaceship. Oh? Well, maybe we better start scanning the radar effects, huh? What do you think, Good idea. Bobby? Our flight will take us into Casa's atmosphere. Hey, Winky. A spaceship at 5 o'clock. Who? Major Luck. Oh. Can you identify it? Yeah, it's a spaceship at 5 o'clock. Yeah, it's a Mars spaceship. It's winter. It sucks out there, so stay inside with the kids. The Kids in the Hall Marathon. Seven straight hours of those unruly terrors. Who needs fresh air anyway? Just leave your wet boots in the mudroom and hang out with the kids in the hall. Sunday, starting at noon, here at Comedy Central. The producers of the new comedy movie, Greedy, are looking for the greediest person in America. Me! You're interested in money, huh? No. No! No! Send a postcard with your name, age, address, and phone number to this address. Or look for entry blanks in People Magazine and select theaters. U.S. Air will fly five finalists to the Tropicana in Las Vegas for a VIP weekend where they will compete for up to $10,000 in cash and prizes. Let's go break the piñata. <laughs> 
How greedy are you? Greedy starts March 4th at theaters everywhere. Hello from Plank Road, where our man Paul has been getting a lot of calls and letters asking, is ice beer really beer from Iceland? Good guess, but wrong. Ice House is ice beer. Ice brewed so there's never any watered down taste, just more of what you want in a beer. Iceland has a lot of wonderful things to offer. I wish for world peace. Yeah? But ice beer is not one of them. Ice House, from America. Thanks, and enjoy. America's hot new number? 1-800-COLLECT. Dial it instead of zero the next time you call someone collect. L.A. Tech Leap Gear. Banned by the NBA. Because they're too distracting for the pros. Well, too bad. Because Foot Locker's got them. The new L.A. Tech Leap Gear that light when you leap. Hurry, before Foot Locker's out. Chevy, got a minute, we gotta talk. You're canceled. How do you get canceled out of a commercial? You're not getting the ratings, Chevy. Uh, I, I like this stuff. Well, keep the bag, Chev. Oh, you're a sport. Man. You look great. Tough year. Good chip. Doritos, tortilla thins. Everything else is just a chip. over the ship at R-400. Uh, okay. Release rockers on count five. Okay. Starting run. Okay. One, two. What comes after two? Um, Three, oh. four, five. Aikiba! Well, the double M just became the scrambled M. <laughs> get out! Get out! <laughs> So that a full report can be sent to Mars Space Headquarters. All done! What did you hit? Sighted enemy. Smeared same. Why do I have to miss all the excitement? Because we don't like you and oh, you're a boy, bad person. It's just starting. Keep the radar backs open, Winky. I'm sure we're in an area our unknown enemies don't want us to search. Yes, sir. Yes, it's a dark, forbidden area full of secrets and shame. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and dial again. If you'd like to make a call. Object ahead. Could you be more vague, Winky? Object about two solar minutes ahead of us. Yeah, shut up. What's going on, Winky? All right, Bobby. Professor Newton can be proud of you. Elemental, my dear Rocky. Elemental. Elemental? Yeah. Dipstick. Hold it on, Winky. When we're halfway there, we'll be able to tell if it's a spaceship. Rocky? Why'd you bring this on your orbit jet? Oh, that, that's oh, our Russian bird. That's something Professor Newton's been working on for a long time. I know. It's cold light. Oh? Then he's told you about it, huh? Yes, we discussed it, and I gave him my opinion. Well, I know he appreciated that. Cold light should never be used indiscriminately. The gamma rays could be fatal to those who use it. Remember that, yes, kids. Uh, Professor Newton warned me. Rocky, it's a space in the head. Hey, has Bobby been giving you that cold light crap? Hey, that's us five minutes ago. Safety bucks. Except you, Bobby. Bobby been getting to you? You thinking what I'm thinking? Yep, I got a headache this big and it's got Bobby written all over it. This is the XB-2 calling spaceship at approximately celestial meridian 190 degrees. <laughs> celestial parallel 80 degrees. Come in, identify yourself. I am Kirak. This is the XB-2 calling spaceship at approximately celestial meridian 180 degrees. Celestial parallel 90 degrees. Come in, identify yourself. I have no idea what I'm saying, over. It's a spaceship, Reggie. No. It's yeah, Rocky boy, nothing in the gets past her. We have to get some signal to him. We're helpless, Vina. The rocket missiles. We can't operate the tubes. I had them Even tied. Even if we could, firing them wouldn't be safe. I mean, force them through the tubes. Drop them overside. They'd have to see that and not pass us by. It might we may work. View the expert. We could give it a try. We may have enough auxiliary power to drop them off. Great. Winky must die. Bobby. But, huh? Look at their missile tubes, starboard. It's starting to open. Good. We're going to be ducking missiles in a minute. Port rocket, Winky. Same run. Fire missile on count five. 
Repeat on five. Repeat on five. Repeat on five. Look, shut up. Starting run. Check. One, two, three, four. Hold on, Mickey. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Oh, coughed up a furball. Mm. <laughs> they ejected the rocket. They weren't firing it. That was meant as a signal to us. Maybe the ship's in some kind of trouble, Rocky. Oh, get out of here, Bobby. Clear the room. We're going alongside. Uh, the orbit jet is gone. Oh. Stupid car! Stupid, Stupid car! car. Well, this is kind of like Diver Dan, only without all the majesty and grandeur. Epic oh, sweet. look at that effect. Industrial light magic. <laughs> You've done it again. Just <laughs> come alongside. I'll open the air like that. Oh, great. That really worked good last time you did that. You're going to get on your mini greenhouse. I'm turning this wheel. Really, I'm turning it. Doesn't it look like it? <laughs> Where have you been? You could have called. Oh, hi, Bobby. Hi, Winky. Rocky! Bobby! <laughs> uh, you had us worried. I was never so happy to see anyone in all my life. Why didn't you answer our signal? Our power and equipment were neutralized. Our spaceship is a satellite of Casa 7. How'd that happen? Brinkman and Dr. Vanko, the two renegades from Earth, arranged it. Oh, so they're the cause of all the trouble. They've taken up space pirating. They came alongside and took off all our cargo. And your S cargo. Well, you can give me a complete rundown on our way to Costa 7. We can't get out of our orbit, Rocky. Oh, I think we can. You. The orbit jet will take you out. We'll stay at magnetic lock. Tandem pole will do the job. You better stay by the controls here, Reg. Vina, you come on the orbit jet with me, hmm? That's like going home, Rocky. I, I know. told them we'd find you, Vina. Didn't I, Rocky? Shut up, shut up, shut up! One day, all of you space losers will be working for me, and I mean it, too. Did the universe move for you, too? Well, yes. I thought you start. Oh, oh, oh. Why don't we light up? <laughs> XP2 calling Casa 7. Come in, Casa 7. I'm speaking to you over a Jimmy Dean Casa sausage. 7 Central Station to XV2. Requesting landing clearance. Say please. Bringing spaceship CM7 in on tandem pull. Landing platform in readiness. Please report at 10 miles. We'll bring you in for ground control approach. Out. Out. That was easy. <laughs> Looks like they bagged an albino five-point buck. We have to look at it, sure. Yeah, kind of sweet. It's back in there. Stand by twin landing platforms. Ready magnetic locks. It's only a matter of seconds now. My sister Vina can't be any happier than I am. You don't know Vina. No Vina. Look at this. This is us at the Grand Canyon. When in Duluth, visit the lift bridge. Uh, sir, you're in an assigned parking space. Sir, sir. The orbit jet and CM7 and magnetic lock are safely landed, sir. Can I have Let's a cookie? Again. He's got a really high butt. Mm, sure does. Mm -hmm. I'll bet you you're excited, Vina. I'm excited and happy. And thankful I reached Casa 7. <laughs> Your big brother's probably waiting outside now. Let's roll, boys. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Very funny, Winky. <laughs> What's new about the new short attention span theater? New host, Mark Merritt. Don't tape this. Or, uh, unless you want to. New length. 30 minutes for even shorter attention spans. New format, whole lot of clips about just one topic. Get all that? The new short attention span theater. New host, new length, new format. So get yourself a new TV and watch it. Weeknights at 6, only at Comedy Central. The only all-comedy network. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave Attell. I, uh, I was hanging out today. I was over by the uh, haystack and... The show's up here, lady. I was doing a show. I walk out on stage. A guy right in front of me starts screaming at me. He's like, get off. Get off, please. Please get off. 
I look down, I'm standing on his hand. Hey, what are you, a Capricorn? Now you, miss. Oh, I'm gonna get a couple walkouts. Clap on. Clap off. Comedy Central, keeping America funny. From Hollywood and Caravan Pictures. What do you think it'll be like when we grow up? As children, they dreamed. You are so stubborn! You hate me so much, why are you my friend? Well, I've been asking myself the same question. As women, they fought. Excuse me, she's having a baby with maternity. Share the moments of friendship <laughs> in a movie critics are hailing as a ferocious, exhilarating combination of comedy and drama. You're gonna end up on Oprah. Academy Award winner Gina Davis is Angie, rated R. Starts Friday, March 4th at a theater near you. Hi, it's Chris Elliott. Hello. Are you aware of all the wonderful things that cable has to offer you folks? Uh-huh. The entertainment programs, the children's programs, sports cooking shows, the whole spectrum of entertainment. That's nice. Do you know how it could change your life? You're going to be able to order any kind of movie, shop at home, take a class in your living room. It's going to be a whole new world. Really? It's going to be a lot to watch. Well, what do you know? So wonderful, and I wanted to share that with you. That's great news. Thanks a lot for calling. You work harder, you get better, right? But working to condition my perm made it flatter. Then I found this, Perk Plus, just right for perms. Now my perm's fuller than with separate shampoos and conditioners, and very soft. The first time I switched pain relievers, it was from aspirin to Tylenol. Then recently, I switched again, from Tylenol acetaminophen to Advil. You see, I got these really pounding headaches, and I found Tylenol didn't always get rid of all the pain. So I tried Advil and found that for my really tough headaches, two Advil worked better than two extra strength Tylenol tablets, better than Tylenol gel caps. For my tough headaches, Advil just works better. And for a cold, try Advil Cold and Sinus, advanced formula for the cold season. Only one children's vitamin has the fun shapes and great Flintstones taste kids love. We have Flintstones, kids. Flintstones, complete with the vitamins and minerals kids need. You're at Comedy Central. Coming up at 2, watch Pepsi's A-List. At 2.30, watch 2 Drink Minimum. <laughs> you know, Joel, I stand and chuckle and wonder at the space dialogue in this so-called space movie. I know, movies like this are always trying to show how futuristic they are by putting the word space in front of everything. Well, it's a classic overuse of what's known as a modifier. And in this movie, the, our grammatical friend, the modifier, puts in triple overtime. You see, they eat their space lunch, they take their space pills, there was a space girlfriend on the ship, there was a pesky space kid, space this, space that. Yeah, with all the man hours spent on ingenious plot points and carefully crafted character development, there was no time for hard research. And hey, did you get a load of those really cheap props made to look oh, like yeah. bona fide space equipment? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, well, you know, it makes you wonder if people did this sort of thing in every era, doesn't it? Right. Like in the old days of the Old West. Yeah. Uh, maybe frontier people ate frontier chips with frontier onion dip and rode their frontier transportation down to the frontier meeting place to watch some frontier entertainment, and then some of them used their frontier guns and frontier rifles to settle a game of frontier poker in which somebody frontier cheated a frontier Fremont. <laughs> <sighs> the implications are staggering. The most temporal social intercourse with one's peers might escalate to the degree that neither party knows what of the other speaks, thus profoundly affecting interpersonal relationships, and the resulting impact could change the entire social fabric of modern civilization. Really makes you think, doesn't it? No. Uh, hey, Space Joel, space suggestion. Let's have <laughs> space au gratin potatoes for dinner tonight, space okay? Space dinner, right, <laughs> yeah. right. A good idea, Spacey. I'll get my space recipe out. The space oh, kitchen. Hey, Space Tom, looks like you're getting a little space pimple on the old space noodle. I'll go to the space medicine space and get you some space astringent. <laughs> you know what, folks? Modifiers. They can be your friend and they can be your enemy. Modifiers. Come on and zoom on, zoom on, zoom on. Oh, we got more to think I want to zoom. Your space desk. I just can't get enough of Betty Page. Excuse you. Okay, nightlife. Hey, Winky's doing his straight jacket routine. Ooh. Oh, great. All she can make is Pop-Tarts. Thanks, Fina. Can I get you anything else? No, this is just fine. 
Oh, did you get Bobby to bed? Yes, he's in dreamland. <laughs> So's Winky. And you're next, Fina. Turn in. Are we getting anywhere, Rocky? No, you know I'm not I ready for so. commitment. If Paul's around, I'd like to talk with him. We'll be right with you. Ovina, just Paul. You'll learn all about it in the morning. Those are orders. Now run along, little astronaut. All right. Yeah. Oh. How about a little snack for me, huh? How oh, Winky, please, I'm saving myself. I'll get you a snack, you faker. Oh, Winky <laughs> thinks it's good to boss around Whitman. He wants to stay in the 50s forever. I think she likes me. Uh, well, Rock, I'm raring to go. You should be after eight hours sleep. Mm, it's his air. It's like Paris in spring. Yeah, but Paris was destroyed in the apocalypse, Winky. Hmm. There goes my social life on Casa 7. Yeah, that's right, Winky, know, you're Winky. real hot. I saw your girl, little black but... book. You had Nancy Culp's yeah, number in there. Too. That was ghostly. Why did Vinna sent this to you? You said to put it where the sun goes. That's Rocky's. Rocky, have you come up with anything yet? Maybe. If an unfriendly planet is behind the acts of piracy, they wouldn't operate from their home base. That'd be too easy to trace. And the United Worlds might declare open warfare. There are four or five planetoids far enough off of regular space lanes. Oh, I had planetoids once. Had to send one of those donut for things. Criminal traffic. I have checked them all, and this is the one I'd pick. Why, she's nude. Why, and naked, too. Oh. Known as the Lonely Moon. You should know, Winky. Oh, it's 20 celestial degrees from any lane of space travel. Yes, but Rocky, you know the history of Pra. No spaceship has ever uh -huh. landed there because of some unknown defense barrier. That's right. the history. Three Earth spaceships set off Hey, could I, I really like to again say again something? If you could, excuse me a second. I, I'll, I'll, the only <laughs> way we'll ever find out if Pra is being used is to go there. Well, how do we get through the barrier? We ask nice. I think it can be managed. Are you sure, Rocky? All right, so we land on Pra. What then? Yeah, then your gay nightlife kicks in, huh, Winky? Yeah. That's that. Nothing to do but blast off. I'll send along a couple of armed escort ships, will you? Thanks, Paul, but we're not ready for any frontal attack. Ooh. I don't like it, Rocky. There is something you can do. Set the table. Explain to Vina and Bobby why they can't go along. Make it personal. Hurt their feelings if you, if you can. can do it. The trick is, we'll be off of Casa 7 before they're up in the morning. How's that for evil? <laughs> Tonight on Fisher Price Medical Center. Oh, brother, I am way overdressed for this first day of work. No, Mr. Winky isn't in right now. This is Rinkman speaking from Prague. Calling Cleolata on officious. This is Cleolata. What is there to report? I've got the cargo of Earth's spaceship CM7 safely stowed away. And Mr. Mooney, Hold too. Hold until you receive delivery orders. Ask her what she's wearing. Is there anything else, Rinkman? Yes. Break down a little, Cleolanta. Forget you're the boss for She's got a triple minutes. menorah on her head. Hanukkah, Do you have pretty. anything more Hanukkah, to report? Hanukkah, Hanukkah. A little bit. I think you'll like this. After we left the CM7 to its lonely travels, we picked up Rocky Jones on the radar vex. Nice guy. And you kept hmm. right on to Pra? Sure, why not? So he could follow you? You know, she should probably you, follow the glamour template accessory rule. Do you think you can outsmart Rocky Jones? Mm. What do you think? I have yes. on your best yes. Yes. Keep talking. Yes. by on a decoy spaceship to blast the orbit jet into the next galaxy. Hmm? You've disobeyed my orders. Good job. I was thinking mainly of saving my own neck. Remain on Pra for further orders. Out. Insubordinates. <laughs> something dark. Yeah. I think she's Sometimes hot. I think she'd rather see us dead than Rocky Jones. <laughs> oh, it wasn't a joke. Atlasan. 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 Did you call me? No, uh, don't do that, Radar. Rickman and Dr. Benko are on Pra. Excellent. Then we'll have more valuable merchandise to sell to our ally planets. Rickman and Dr. Vanko are to be executed. Executed? But what have they done? They've disobeyed my orders. Oh, well, uh, hmm? I shall see that your orders are carried out. Then do it. Just do it. Cleolanta, it's too bad that we can't get Rocky Jones to take their place. Well, it's too bad you're not in a gopher suit. What's your point? Get out. Get out! Oh, she threw Winky's black book at him. Oh, she's angry when she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't let my executioners get to me. 
I keep working my way back to you, babe. You babe. Hey folks, it's the Breakfast Flakes with you in the AM, and today's crazy call's going out to Mars. Hey, don't use that indiscriminately. Do, 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 do. A winky. We're approaching Pra's gravity field, right? Yes, you can see Pra now on Visiograph. Well, what are we going to do about that defense barrier? You know, Winky, what you can't see, you can't hit. Well, does that mean you're going to hit that. me? But what are we going to do about that defense barrier? Oh, well, I've been I holding out on you until now, Winky, because I promised Professor Newton. Mm, I know what you mean, the coal light. I yes. never could get you to talk about it. Professor Newton asked me not to use it until we had to. He's kept it so hush-hush that most people don't even know it exists. I'll have to brief you on it. Right. It's called a snuggie. Well, Turn around. around. By this switch. The filament in the vacuum tube mm. is quickly brought to a temperature mm. of about mm -hmm. minus 243 degrees mm -hmm. centigrade. Uh, what was the middle part again? Why all that cold? Well, Professor Newton explained it this way. Heat can affect blah, 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 to a point blah, blah, where images that are even there blah, 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 can blah, blah, be seen by the blah, human blah, blah, eye. Seen by blah, blah, like the mirages that appear on mirage, blah, 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 sure, I've seen them on the Sahara. Now, intense cold can have the opposite effect. Cold, blah, blah. Blot out images that are actually there. I'm sorry, I wasn't this listening. Light is on, the rays sent out by the terrifically cold light will make the orbit jet invisible. Well, how can we fly a ship we can't see? The cold light will surround the ship. You idiots. We'll be able to see everything normally here in the cabins, but no one will be able to see us. Well, if that can't get us through any defense barrier, nothing can. Oh, just one point, Winky. Shut we up. We have to fight time. We don't know how long the cold lamp will operate, so stand by to switch it up, huh? Right, sir. Okay. Get hooked all over again. Watch Soap. Why don't you offer him some fruit? Looks to be very appropriate. Weeknights at 7.30, only at Comedy Central. We don't buy athletes. All the other schools are doing it, Coach. Do you really want your son to start out life by learning how to bend and break the rules? I mean, what's he going to become? A millionaire? We owe them this money. Did you take money? We owe it to him! Nick Nolte and Shaquille O'Neal. Blue Chips, rated PG-13. Starts Friday, February 18th at theaters everywhere. Now this garage better be clean. Wash the car. Sure. Starburst with real fruit juice. Hello from Plank Road, where our man Paul is ready with a tasty little demonstration. This is a glass of water. This is a nice beer. You want watered down taste here, but it's the last thing you want here. That's why Ice House is ice brewed so there's never any watered down taste. Just more of what you want in a beer. So when you want watered down taste, drink water. When you don't, drink Ice Brewed Ice House. Thanks, and enjoy. What's up, Sinbad? This amazing new Polaroid Captiva camera. Amazing. It's sleek, streamlined, and takes picture after picture. So where's the picture? Inside the camera's pocket, so my hands are free to... <laughs> take another picture. Now where's the picture? Ha <laughs> ha. Yo, check her out. It's in your pocket. I knew that. Well, let me see the picture. I'll trade you for the camera. You have to ask my mama. You live with your mama? The new Polaroid Captiva. Primitive hunters relied on their highly developed brains to find food. Today, the hunt leads to Bennigan's for the Monte Cristo, made with ham, turkey, and cheeses, and served crisp and golden brown. Share one with your fellow missing links. Bennigan's, food and fun for humans. Hey, it's a universal film. We're entering cross gravity field. Switch it on, Winky. Okay. There, you see, I did it, Rocky. I did it. I switched it on. How did I do? Did I do well? I switched it on. I did it. I did it. Did you see that? I switched it on. I can do it. I can do it. I did it. You know if the ship's invisible? Well, I feel invisible. Sure. If something hits us, we'll know the cold light didn't work. That's finding out the hard way. You don't know the half of it, little guy. Boy, that's a rugged place. That's a Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Activate the gyro. No, it's pronounced Euro. Activated, sir. Secure for landing. 
Please put your seats in their locked upright position. But even if we can spot a place in that rocky terrain, the orbit jet won't stand on its tail. Don't start We're with me, Winky. We're going to go Winky. right into one of their landing platforms. Well, somebody's going to be surprised. <laughs> I hope it isn't us. No. You hear an invisible ship Did just now? Signal for a landing? Who could possibly land them? Bra. Uh -huh. Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. Marco here. Who's making a landing? Nothing's coming into the landing platforms. Are you blind? Yes, sir. Why do you ask? Look, Doc. Sounds like a blimp. Keep the visiograph on, Winky. You'll have to cover me. If they start anything, blast them. I'll keep my trigger finger ready. You'll be able to see me materialize on the ship's invisibility blanket. I'll be buck naked. Well, they're going to be even more surprised than they are now. Underneath well, those clothes, he's as smooth as a Ken dog. Right. <laughs> Oh, good. Now I can screw off. The Mahavishnu Orchestra. You can see no spaceship has landed here. It must have landed. We heard the rockets. Maybe we're all blind. What do you think, Doc? You heard it. I don't want to get involved. No. I don't know. It's fantastic. <laughs> we're being paid to know about these things, Vanko. Did a spaceship land or didn't it? This is all uh, yo, yes, I'm sort of a thing. I have to keep up to date, Doc. Um, maybe. Or you'll be dropped back to Earth and wind up on the exile planet. Look, there is your answer. Hi, I'm your answer. You expecting someone, Rankman? Nobody expects Marcus the Spanish Jones. Inquisition. You have discovered the light vibration of invisibility. It's friendly of you to bring this new discovery to Well, us. he's got yummy icing on That's his collar. Time, hmm. Rankman. I'm here with a warning. Don't uh, eat no refrozen ice cream. Orders. There's the orbit jet. Take my word for it. There's a gun on it ready to blast you if you make one false move. I like pancakes. I'll make it free, the... Brinkman. Huh? Stop pirating the spaceships of the United Worlds. Or prowl will be blown out of existence. That's big talk, Rocky. Maddox, no! Da -da 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 uh, Winky, Winky! Oh, crying out loud, Winky, I can use a little help. Help here, Winky. Oh, Winky! Uh, Winky! Winky! Winky? I didn't think the orbit jet would fire on you to get us. He's got some smooth pants on me. We'll take that chance. Get him to the caves. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good Oh, I know this is coming up in my review. Mm. Well, they really didn't think through the invasion of this planet too well, did they? Leolanda? Yes? This is Rinkman on Pra. I'm under your desk, Mars. actually. Proceed with your report. There's been a slight change in our plans to destroy the He's holding the a bottle of Pierre Cardin. Hmm, his knee's on fire. Why wasn't it reported earlier? Because I didn't discover the change until Rocky Jones <laughs> landed on Pra. <laughs> Thank you. That's impossible. No spaceship can get through the defense barrier. Rocky Jones has discovered a new trick. He's here. What is he up to? But put him out. much. As long as I have him locked up in one of the caves. Keep him under guard. You'll get further orders. Out. Hmm, let's see. I can wear a camisole and a blazer. No, that wouldn't be right either. Uh -oh. Um, hello. No, hi. Hi. Hi, my lant. No, no. Mr. Jones, I presume. No. How about... Well, Atlas Dan? I'm yes, exclamation. Men to prowl to handle the execution of Rankman and Dr. Vanko. Rosencrantz and Gilderstern. Your orders. For Cleolanta, that was your command. I went to a lot of trouble. I said cancel your orders. What's the matter? Do they redeem themselves? For valuable I prizes? I'll go to Pra and decide if they are to be pardoned. Pra is a barren planet. A land of rock and granite mountains. There's no place for a woman. Don't say barren to me. Have my spaceship made ready. You will serve as pilot. If that is what you wish. It is what I command. Yeah, and we know what kind of weight that carries. Oh, no, my tummy's upset. Mm. Oh, I'll have to wear flats if I'm going to drive a spaceship. I'll probably get his name wrong. I'll call him Sandy Jones or Rusty Jones. Well, you know what? I should have known with a guy like Winky, you know. Yeah, the guy's not even good for ballast. Oh, look at that Bobby. Oh, all well, funny. Oh, I just wish who wants gum anyway? Oh, I love to do that to myself. <laughs> Good thing they didn't frisk him. Mm. Winky. Winky, am I getting through? Hmm? You're coming in clear, Rocky. I'm being held in the cave in one of the mountains. I'll find it. I can't you find it. how much coal light we have left. You are not to leave the orbit jet 
I'll have to find a way to get clear. So keep the ship ready for blastoff at any time. Will do. But I feel like a lunkhead just sitting here. Hold that thought, no Winky. Keep the orbit jet invisible, just as long as the cold light holds out. Stand by. Oh, hi, you must be Rock. I'm supposed to take your dinner order. Rodin's The Thinker. Two of them. Rocky, suppose we make a deal. I'll give you $50 if you have a hard-boiled egg in your purse. You've got something good in that secret of invisibility. Ralph Allison wants yeah, I you. I think so. I could get you off Pra alive pra. in exchange for that secret. You're wasting your time. I'll put it this way. Come in with me. Join me, Rocky. We can rule the world. You mean as a space pirate? It pays off. Plus benefits. Working out of an invisible spaceship, we'd have the solar system by the tail. Oh, great. Hmm? How about the people you're taking orders from? We won't be needing them. We can brush them off. Like Dan. Yes, but I don't know who you're working for. You'd like to know. Frankie, quit eavesdropping. Get off the line. All right. Well, Rocky, is it a deal? Or do you rot it out in this cave? Oh, that's the option. Hmm. What'll it be, Rocky? Uh, I'll take the surf and turf. I'm on vacation. Keep him covered, Winky. I got him covered, Rocky. Hmm? You'll let a guy named Winky fool you? I think you hurt me real bad. Oh, uh, hi, my gun, and, uh... Oh, huh? So what are we voting development like a house of ill repute to hear? <laughs> hey, move the entire cave. Wow. Come in. Come in. Thank you. Brinkman's been gone a long time. Nice booger collection. He had some business with the prisoner. Mm. He ah, didn't afford yeah. to see Rocky Jones mm. alone. Rocky's a sharp character. He insisted. I'm going to see what's going on. Okay. Back up. Mm. All right. Go on, Dr. Banco. Put your hands in the air and keep clear. Now dance. Go on, get over side, Dr. Banco. Now, you, give him a back rub. Ooh. Well, don't either one of you try a thing. Winky. Come in, Winky. Go ahead, Rocky. Not much time left. Open the airlock hatch. Airlock Sorry, hatch I'm open. afraid I can't do that, Prepare Dave. For blast off. I'm on my way. Rockets will be roaring. And the spaceship right. will be ready, too. Here's what happens when Comedy Central takes on politics. Every night at 11.30, you get to see a group of people you never put together in one room. We sort of strap them to their chairs and get them to talk about the most heated, uncomfortable, controversial topics. Then, for extra added pleasure, we pull the whole thing together with Bill Maher, a guy who just loves to throw gasoline on the fire. Watch them all squirm. It's fun. Watch Politically Incorrect. It's got more laughs than Clinton has affairs. Allegedly. Weeknights at 11.30 with an all-new show every Friday night here at Comedy Central. You need to satisfy the cheese lover in you, but you only have an hour. What do you do? Well, Comedy Central has taken the best Mystery Science Theater 3000s and split them in half. So now you can see part one one day, part two the next. It's the Mystery Science Theater Hour. Morning, Ron. Hi, Phil. Very nice boots you're wearing there. Araya one, this is Iron Man. How do you copy over? On a Xerox machine, you. Get the cheese you need in half the time. Watch the Mystery Science Theater Hour. Weeknights at 8 here at Comedy Central. After most meals and snacks, plaque pH can fall to levels where acid starts attacking teeth. These attacks can last up to two hours, increasing the risk of damage to your tooth enamel. That's when chewing extra sugar-free gum can help. When you chew for 20 minutes, the chewing action produces and distributes more of your mouth's natural defense, saliva, which helps neutralize acid within minutes. So in addition to regular dental care, after eating, chew Wrigley's extra sugar-free gum, because chewing helps nature fight the acid attack. What is your glitch? My glitch? Did he dazzle you with his extensive knowledge of mineral water? <laughs> He's not a yuppie. He's the reason why Cliff Notes were invented. Do you like that guy with the, you know, with the, with the hat and the bells, the court jester? Hi. You look beautiful. You, you look like, you look like a doily. Winona Ryder, Ethan Hawke, and Ben Stiller. Reality Bites, rated PG-13. Starts tomorrow at theaters everywhere.
What's your favorite line? The one my mother hung a wash on. Yours? We were so rich, my parents had my nanny bronze. I go to a bar that's so cheap, they have a happy minute. All right, here's a good line. I'm on a seafood diet. I know. I see food, I eat it. Have a prune. The best line comes from a pilot pen, because pilots patented liquid ink pens deliver a smooth, flowing line. Now, that's a great line. But AIDS is nothing to laugh about. That's why Pilot gives part of each sale to AIDS research. <coughs> this was my cold yesterday. <coughs> Yuck. And then I saw something about... Sudafed cold and cough liquid caps. It's new. Not even a prescription medicine gives you more complete non-drowsy relief of cold symptoms. Not even a prescription. It relieves chest congestion, <coughs> coughing, fever. All of which I had. So I had to get some, which I did. Now I'm better. And now I'm out of here. New Sudafed cold and cough liquid caps. No prescription gives you more complete non-drowsy relief. It works. You're at Comedy Central. Coming up at 2, watch Pepsi's A-List. At 2.30, watch Two Drink Minimum. Well, I had a great time. Enjoyed the canapes. Uh, say hello to the wife. Hope you don't mind if I just kind of leave. Oh, they got Flintstone furniture. Check it out. Rocky blew it again. Yeah, what was his mission? Go in there, get caught, and escape? <laughs> Look at her go. Well, hi, Rocky. Where have you been? Well, I stopped perfect, Winky. You had yourself quite a time. Yes, but I didn't quite complete the job. We know where the space pirates operate from. And who they are. We still don't know who's behind Rinkman. I thought we were, sir. We'll keep the cold light on until we're out of Pra's gravity field. I sure hope there's enough energy left in the lamp. Winky, look. That's us. Strange spaceship headed for Pra. Well, we just blasted off in time. Rinkman's boss is probably on that ship. I'd sure like to have a look inside. Inside the boss? That's disgusting. Thunderbirds are go. This year's Winter Carnival, King and Queen. I'm curious, Cleolanta, about this journey to Pra. Do we have enough gas? The truth is, Rocky Jones has been taken prisoner and is being held on Pra. Oh, so that's the reason you're giving us your personal attention. Rear! If you were as smart as my chief officer should You'd be, be half as smart as me. Sir. Rocky Jones has caused us more difficulties than any other person in the United World. I want him to work the counter. I want him on our side. You failed before, Cleolanta. This time, I'm not going to fail. I bought some Jovan. Uh-oh. Uh I the cold ray thing. Uh, I XV2, think they were just two, going along because you can see us. This is the XV-2 calling CASA-7. This is CASA-7. Go ahead, XV-2. Message to Paul Ray. Bite me. We are proceeding to CASA-7. Anticipate arrival at uh, 400 solar time. Tell Paul to say hello to Vina and Bobby. Message will be delivered to Paul Ray. He bought it. Thank you, Casa 7. Out. Well, there's the period on this mission. Hmm? No, Winky. I think there's still a lot more to come before we see the end of the space pirates. Oh. Well, I only hope that Betty doesn't get tired. I told her to wait for me at the bandstand in Central Park. Yeah, right, Winky, you loser. Well, no, that was shorter than I thought it would be. Oh! Oh, oh. 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 she. Grand Hotel, hold, please. Grand Hotel. Grand this Hotel. This is Casa 7 Central Station. Come in. This is the XB2 approaching gravity field. What is your estimated time of arrival? Uh, 2, 2 30-ish. We'll prepare a landing clearance. Please contact Central Station when you reach altitude 50 miles. Hold on, Winky wants to say miles. hi. Out. Geez, I better get this place cleaned up. Hey, I'm in here, Acapato. Sorry. Janet, answer. This is CASA 7, Ken speaking. I'd like to make a reservation Go for ahead. two, please. The orbit jet just reported. Approaching CASA 7. He's an odd duck. 
Do you hear me? No. Tell him to contact you for instructions after the orbit jet lands. Contact me for instructions after the orbit jet lands. Oh, well, here, you just Wait, talk. Is everything going as planned? Everything's just fine. Out. You mean everything's ruined by your stupidity. Do, do we have to go Yeah, that's that what I meant. I arrive on Pra and find Rocky Jones has made fools of a whole lot of you. He just vanished right in front of our eyes. What can you do against a secret like that? Pause. You can find out what the secret is and use it yourself. But you let him slip right through your fingers. Let's not make a big argument out of it, Atlas Sam. Rocky's gone. Oh. What we have to find out is how do we get him back? Until we dispose of him, our very profitable traffic in United Planet spaceships and their valuable cargoes is finished. Look, we're not getting anywhere. Let's finish them the way we John wanted to. Palmer. My orders stand. I want Rocky Jones alive. Why, Cleolanda? I just don't understand. You don't have to understand, Reapman. Now concentrate on these orders. Fight me. I want Casa 7 taken. Yes. Oh, that's not a bad idea. And not too difficult to accomplish. Instruct our agent Ken to immobilize their defenses. Casa 7 should be a sitting duck. We take it over and all the valuable equipment and material. Don't fail this time. We're returning to Ophetius. We'll take these giant boogers with you. One thing more. You'll not be welcome on Ophetius until you bring Rocky Jones as a prisoner. And you're not invited to my pool party either. Pool. Oh, she's in a foul mood. Your face, Doc. Well, why waste words? They won't ever be here. They're in the unfortunate position of being obliged to do Cleolanta's dirty work. My thick accent helps me deal with if it. we take over Casa 7 and lay hands on Rocky Jones, hmm. we'll do the dictating. I could be the secretary. Right now, we have to wait for a word from Ken. Ken's a good friend. Hmm. Surgeon in space. Now Rocky's going to show us how to execute a wide turn in the free fall. Paul, this is Ken at landing controls. You won't yes, believe Ken. where I'm calling the from. The jet is in the process of landing. Know what I mean? Good. I'll be there in a few minutes. Have Rocky wait for me there. Out. That was the bad guys. Hey, it's 72 here in the metro area, and the orbit jet is in the process of landing. Uh, I'm landing on burner number three. Hey, he hit my big wheel. Here we go. Busy, busy, look busy. Well, all safe and ship shape, thanks to Professor Newton's cold light. Now can we go up oh, to the ladies? Give me all the details on the operation of the cold light for a report to Professor Newton. Well, when I get to it. You know, I'll bet those space buzzers on Pra are still busy trying to figure out what made uh. the orbit jet invisible. I think we can depend on them trying to find out. That's what I like about you. Hit him. Sure. Hit him. Come on, Winky. Paul's probably waiting for us. Joel, this movie hurts. Quite bad, actually. Yeah, there's some things I'd probably change if I had my way. Yeah. I don't get why Ken and Tammy and Captain Joe are flying to the planet with the guy in the mind getup and all that try to kill him with the forklift. Uh, Pro, to... listen, that was like 20 experiments ago, okay? It was? Oh, we're getting a transmission and it's coming from outside the ship and it's not the meds. Cam, wow. I'll put it up on the Hexfield view screen. Bono! Winky? Well, actually, my name is Winchester P. Thorndooler, but you can call me Winky. Now nah, we call you that even if you didn't want us to. Crow, come on. Oh, hey, Winky, I thought you were a fictional character. I didn't know you were a real live kid. No, I, I get that a lot, see, because I was a friend of the director's, and so he cast me as myself. Well, the deal is, we used to go to lunch a lot. We'd go to this little Italian place up the street, and, and then usually I'd get, like, the salad and then, like, a pasta dish, you know, as my main dish, and still get a beverage, and then I'd get out for under six bucks, which well, is Point to this wiki. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, the point is, I flew my invisible spaceship up here uh, and took time out of my hot and savage dating life, what with the oh, beautiful, intense girlfriends. Oh, uh, wiki, you go out with girls on dates and stuff, huh? Sure, yeah. Yeah, I bet you make time with the honeys real good, huh, wiki? <laughs> sure. Wiki, you've never even touched a woman, have you? Yes, I have. I, I'm, I'm a real swigger, and you can see I'm up here in my invisible spaceship. Uh, wiki, uh, our instruments say that you're calling from 
from Ladysmith, Wisconsin, well, Winky. Well, then your instruments are wrong because I'm on my invisible spaceship. And look at me, I'm a real swinger. Winky, you're not a swinger. And you look like hardware hang. Oh, you're real funny, <laughs> red boy. Well, well, maybe I'll just fly back down to Earth and pick up Clarissa and Tawny and Sue and come back up here and prove to you guys that I oh. date hot, savage women. Wait, Winky, why don't we just call your mother and get this whole thing straightened out? You go right, right ahead. I don't care. Okay, we will. Okay, I don't and care. Don't yeah. Lady Smith, Wisconsin. Hello? Oh, hi. Is Winky there? He's in the basement. Hold on a second. Thank you. Winky! Uh, telephone! Uh, yeah, uh, Clarissa, why don't you start the hot oils warming up and I'll be right up, okay? What? Oh, my Winky, that's your mother! It is not my mother, it's Clarissa, no, my that's girlfriend! Your mother, Winky. It's Clarissa, my girlfriend, and she's really pretty, and I kiss her, and you can mother. never get a girlfriend even after that good, because I'm the swigger, and you're nothing, you're nothing! Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Look, I gotta go. Clarissa's a real tigress when she's angry. I'll see you guys later. Whew. Ooh, you think we were a little hard on him? Uh, guys, I don't even think we got through. And for Winky's sake, I hope we never do. We'll be right back. Let's have a little quiet time now. Watch Politically Incorrect, the show where guests don't shut up when they should. No woman should go outside but of her house without a machine gun. Weeknights at 11.30 at Comedy Central. I'm looking for Ray Finkel. And a clean pair of shorts. A is for action. C is for crime fighter. E is for excitement. Yes, yes, yes. Now there's a new way to spell hero. Don't kill me. Jim Carrey is Ace Ventura, pet detective. Rated PG-13. Now playing at a theater near you. Now this garage better be clean. Wash the car. Sure. Starburst with real fruit juice. Everyone ready? Hey, is that a, a Polaroid camera, Mr. Hinkle? It sure is, Billy. It's my new Polaroid Captiva. Looks cool. Can I have it? No. Now everyone smile and say Bunsen burner. Cheese! One more. Where's the picture? I thought it was a Polaroid camera. Yeah. One more. Then where's the picture? Presenting the Polaroid Captiva. It's sleek. It's stylish. Its pocket-sized pictures stay in a special compartment till you take them out, so you're free to shoot and shoot. Is this some kind of joke? One more. The Polaroid Captiva. The pictures stay in. One more. Till you take them out. Cold filtered Miller Genuine Draft. The cold one. For those who've discovered its smooth draft taste, the world is a very cool place. So get out of the oil and get into the cold. Behind every new Mazda truck is an unsurpassed 50,000 mile three year basic warranty. And behind that, who knows? They're romantic. He's here. My mystery day. Open the door for your mystery day. They're cool. Red or cream, the gals will pursue ya. They're corny and they're back in this collector set of the classic commercials of the 50s and 60s. Just watch. classic commercials come to you straight from the Ira Gallen Television Archives. You can't get them anywhere else. This delightful two-tape set is yours for just $19.95 and includes over 100 full-length commercials. You get a quick time. You'll laugh. You'll cry. You'll fall in love all over again. Wicked. Call now. Avon calling. Use your credit card or send check or money order to get the classic commercials video set for just $19.95 plus shipping and handling. Call 1-800-452-7700. Phones open 24 hours. The important thing now is we discovered Rinkman's pirate. There he is again. No. Well, when I asked you to wait here for me, I had a reason. I had to square up my butt, you see. Yeah. No, I'm not a traitor. Andy. Oh, yeah. There was something about the disappearance of our cargo spaceships that bothered me. How did the pirates know the exact schedule? 
So I checked the records. Pure gibberish. I found that each spaceship reported from just outside our gravity field and then vanished. Your line. I see. Making it look as if Rinkman got his information from here. Well, it should be easy to check. Unfortunately, it isn't. Well, that's See, what I meant. Had an Not easy to Named check. Hagar New. Sammy Hagar New? He was an apprentice from Mars. The day Venus' ship disappeared, he vanished. Rocky, your line again. I think you'll eventually find your trader, Paul. Have you looked in the garage? Can continue a close guard around here. Of course. Follow me, man, and uh, no comments about the square butt, okay? Mm, the trader's not me. I'm just sitting here and I'm not being a trader. Mm hmm. Heading out to Eden. Sleepy little felon nodding in. Winky unplugged. Mind. Sleepy little felon? Couldn't keep your head up if you. Looks like he's strumming Palisades Park. Take your ship of slumber where nothing harms. Winky needs professional help. Who's on a star Just kill me, please, kill me. Hi, well, things went. Oh, sorry. The sky is blinking asleep. Hey, Winky, come back. Larry, don't wake up. As deeper, still, we. Oh, yeah. In your palatial, extra spatial, <laughs> outbound dreamer. To the stars tomorrow, <clears throat> Daddy. Hi, hon, I'm home. Let's go. Come on. The trail we blaze tonight will be my guide. The kid's gonna have the darkest dreams he's ever had. Lightning strike the night he made the star feel right. Oh yeah, that's nice. Thank you. Stinky is it? Oh yeah, we'll call you. Okay, thanks. One more time. And that's the star feel rag. Like Don't effect. you ever do that again. Ovina, when you have that report finished, will you send it to Secretary Drake on the messy scrambler? In a pig's eye. Okay, I'm going to check over the orbit jet. You want me to go with you? No, you stay here. And I'll practice. Be back you turn in. <laughs> Bobby's sleeping. And it's funny. <laughs> we'll be back after this word for Lux for dishes. Bregman? Ooh, big thumb. I also cut power on all defense units. Can we come in for a landing? I'll stand by at Central Station. I'll bring you in by ground control. To Major Tom. Don't let Rocky Jones blast off before we arrive. He won't find the orbit jet. I switched on the invisibility equipment. You scared. The equipment we want. It's here, ready to be taken. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Somebody's coming. Out. So I'll pick you up at 7, then. Really nothing going on here. Just kind of... Take your ship of slumber or nothing. Oh, making a tortilla, huh? Oh, you're working late. Look, no, nothing, nothing. I can do right out. I've been on a 24-hour duty. I use the charting room for living quarters. I came to check on the orbit jet. It isn't at the landing platform. John. That's strange. Let's leave. Can't I wonder pass. where it could have been taken. The only place spaceships can be kept is at one of the platforms. And a cool temperature. Oh, see. Oh, have you seen anything of Hagar? No. Not a sign. Stop oh, accusing I'll me. Check the platform again, just to be sure. Shoes for industry, comrade. I forgot to validate your parking. <laughs> Ken is that close to a written warning. Oh, he's going to do the Letterman thing. <laughs> Top of the country, Ma. And they're gone. Huzzah! They're really proud of that process, yeah. aren't they? Yep, yep. Mom, I found a spaceman. Can I keep him? Okay, now you two play nice together. I think you two will get along. Rocky's into science, too. <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. Trotsky? Did you also catch up with the traitor, Ken? Uh, yeah, yeah uh, sure. So yeah. it was Ken. Jeez, I hate that guy, Ken. I guess both of us found out too late. You the are an Earthman. Yes, Rocky Jones. I command the orbit jet. I am Hagar Nu. A Martian. They're looking for you as the traitor. Ken arranged that cleverly. After I caught him giving information to the pirates, he had to silence me. Yes, he's quite a hand at that. For two days, 
I was bound and helpless in the charting room at Central Station. It wasn't that bad, Yesterday, really. I was put into a deep sleep, found myself here. Oh, yeah, wakey thing to you, We're too, on my huh? ship, the orbit jet. That's where Ken made his mistake. I know the ship too well. Ken is an evil man. He'll not stop at Ken murder. is sick. Just ask Barbie. <laughs> yep. If we can get out of these bonds, he'll have missed his chance. Buy bonds where you work or bank. Well, Elliot, in the meantime, there's some exercises you can do when your officer are home, and they're really good for your back. Okay, one, two, three. Now you try. Come on. One. Uh. Come on, lay back down. If I can no. stretch these bonds, I may be able to slip them over my wrists. Yes, you see, if I can stretch the bonds. <laughs> Space Ghost! I think they're losing altitude. This is Walter Cronkite with Roger Mudd, and we're Space Pirates! <laughs> That's the way it was. This is Casa 7 Central Station. Come in. Brinkman here, making approach for landing. Neutralize all circuits, activate gyros. And bring me one. We'll handle circuits and gyros. With Bryce. Ground control will bring you in for landing. Out. Let's see, a couple of these, a couple of those. Get that one. There we go. Uh, if it's not one thing, it's another. Oh, brother. I saw the harbor light. So check it out. They're landing on the cover of a popular science magazine. Cool. Kill the props. Well, we made it, Doc. Now we have to take over Casa 7. And do it fast. Get Markov and Link in here. Oh, why don't you take Link off and Mark in there? Avon calling. Hi, I ran up here all the way to meet you. We got Gene one Kelly, look. First, there's Paul Ray, taking prisoner. He's headed the entire project at Casa 7. Then what? After that, it'll be easy. Where do we find this Paul Ray? I'll show you. Here, let me show you around. We'll take over, then we'll grab a beer. Okay, now I want you to do your space math. Space 2 plus space 2 equals space 4. Brinkman. Just making a little surprise visit. What are you doing in Alan Brady's office? We've covered the area at least a dozen times, Wayne. Yeah, yeah, get Wayne, get him, 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 get are you guys hungry for dinner? We've got one of us. Hey, it's the Nelsons full in half. Hold it. I'll use this. Now do Bobby. Yeah. I said to hold it. Tickle me. We're taking charge here, and if you don't think so, I'll give you a taste of this. It's chocolate. Mm. I think it's slipping loose. Yeah, right. Would you like to hear my plan? <laughs> there, see, told you. Uh, don't start walking yet, Rocky. Now it's time for a granola bar. I need quick energy. Oh, my wrist! Ow. Hey, why is that ladder going sideways? Because it's space, get it? Oh, See, it's sorry. space. That's okay. Ken keeps on the automatic lock. He didn't know there was a way to handle that. With a hand. There's an emergency circuit breaker here. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave Attell. You know, smoking, I'll tell you, I smoke a lot. I smoke three packs a day, and I wear the nicotine patch. Does this bother anybody? How about you? One day they're going to make smoking illegal. Then they're going to hunt us down and kill us. And it's going to work because we can't run. You know, be like, here they come, come on. All right, you got me. Let me just finish this one. What do you say? All right. Uh, Mary Jo, come on. Come on, we're going to be late. Comedy Central, keeping America funny. What's new about the new short attention span theater? New host, Mark Marin. Don't take this, All right, unless you want to. New length, 30 minutes for even shorter attention spans. New format, whole lot of clips about just one topic. Get all that, the new short attention span theater. New host, new length, new format. So get yourself a new TV and watch it. Weeknights at 6, only at Comedy Central. The only all-comedy network. I will not have the 
first losing season in 40 years at this university. You are not getting the kind of athletes that we used to. Yeah, but the program's clean, Chancellor. We got the inside track on some great ball players this year. You get those guys, you are in the final four next year. Well, let's get these guys. He's never been coached. He's totally wrong. Neon, um, please try not to step on the children. Okay, all right. I figure a white blue chip athlete like myself deserves something extra. About about 30 grand. I'd like to have it in cash. Get the hell out of here, Ricky. All the other schools are doing it, coach. He bought him, Charlie. I know he bought him. That's three! Hit it! Did you take money? We owe him this money. Did you cheat? We owe it to him! Nick Nolte and Shaquille O'Neal. Oh. Blue Chips, rated PG-13, starts Friday, February 18th at theaters everywhere. It doesn't matter what comes, can't do better in life, with mental fresh and full of life. Nothing gets to you, staying fresh, staying cool, with mental fresh and full of life. Mentos, the fresh maker. From the top. R-X-M-J-Q-P. Oh, boy. F-A-L-U-H. The last line. 1-800-C-O-L-L-E-C-T. Perfect. 1-800-COLLECT. Dial it the next time you call Collect. Hey! What? Those fries! You made them too big! I said to make them big! But those are humongous! Supersize your extra value meal with a supersized order of McDonald's Golden Fries, plus a supersized Coke for just 39 cents more at McDonald's today. Life's too short for bad comedy, so watch Pepsi's A-List, hosted by Richard Lewis, where the comics are required to be funny. Next, only at Comedy Central. It's the sign of pizza. Oh, watch that last step. Oh, no, the anarchists are here. Good thing I happen to have some sandpaper in my pocket. Hey, hey, hey. always carry chalk. Let's see. Mickey is a dope. Oh, that's in Breakfast of Champions. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I remember. Mm -hmm. Whoa, almost fooled myself, boy. Hands off, green man. The orbit jet is invisible. I don't think Ken will be able to find it again. I am frank to say, I am puzzled. Well said, Ken had Martian. the platform marks so he'd know where the invisible ship was located. I erased the marks and put them on another platform. <laughs> Aren't I sneaky? <laughs> In space when he looks for the orbit jet. Oh, you kooky. Imagine a surprise when a skull hits a pavement. You're so nuts. <laughs> the orbit jet's invisible. I marked the platform. Come on. Now, let's tune into Ken's face as he tries to find the orbit jet. <laughs> we'll walk right into the invisible band. Now, watch my face here when I try to... Where is this invisible band? I don't understand it. Mm. You sure you know what you're doing? I left um, the ship right here twice. I'm maybe an invisible tow truck came and... Blundered somewhere. No. There's nothing here, real or invisible. Rocky Jones and the Martian are on the ship tied up. I said it and I'm glad. If I know Rocky Jones, he didn't stay tied up long. But he couldn't get away. If he did, he's got the orbit jet, and Cleolanta will have your neck. I'll find the ship. If I have to search all three I'm paths. Running. I'll get Rocky's crew into my ship and send them along to Ephesus. If his friend's in danger, Rocky Jones will soon show his hand. Yes, you took the words right out of my mind, What Doc. do you do, old man? If the orbit jet is lost, so are you. No, I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Where did the rocket... Oh, ho! No stepping, ho! An American in Paris. For me, Ken? <gasps> no, I was looking Poopy. for this chair. That's it. Ah! Oh, I can't believe I fell for that. Look, just answer my question. Oh, what are you looking for? Ah. Oh. All right, I've got a nice place for you. It's a day's in. It's not elaborate, but it's clean. Oh. I'm a grim old warrior. <laughs> 
Okay, okay, that's perfect, Steve. Yeah, good special effect. Really tricks the eye. It's Edith Ann. Oh. Just a little paint, a cup of the rust. Silly putty? Why? He's wiping boogers on the rocket. Well, those some big boogers, let me tell you. Well, now I gotta go change the sand in the ashtrays. Funny how things change, huh? Funny how the hunter becomes the hunted. Oh, mm. <laughs> Whose ship is that on the next platform? Well, it's a good ship, Lollipop. Whose ship is it? Ah, go ahead, on three. On the ship. Sounds like Ken's in trouble. Hold him here. That's so cool. It's like Romulan cloaking device. The Klingon had one too. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez, I really had to go. I feel ten pounds lighter. <laughs> well, let's see. Is that not it, or is it down there not it? Your pockets are speaking to you. They're trying to tell you something. <sighs> Wait a minute. I'm a young buddy Epson. Impossible. Nobody's in sight. Lock them in the rear section. They've got a long journey ahead. Right. Let's go. Link. We can have the interrogation outside. Doc will go along as navigator. When will we blast off? As soon as I contact Cleolanta and explain Cleo things, Lane? I'll give you the word. Markoff and I will be using Paul Ray's quarters. Gene, you keep singing and dancing. God, what the... uh, make it tight. Uh, tighter. I can get out of this. Make it tighter. Ken won't give us any more trouble. Now, thanks for the update, well, Quisp. to take Rinkman. He's wanted back on Earth to answer for his crimes. Perhaps he'll answer for them sooner than that. What do you mean, Hagenau? I wanted to be certain the traitors are destroyed. I inserted tonite alpha into the rocket tubes of Rickman's spaceship. <sighs> That'll blow them to bits when they blast off. Yes, the traitors will be destroyed. And it'll leave a huge stain. I want them alive, Hagenau. I don't get the Earth people. Winky, Paul, Scooter, Diane, Chopper, Chief, McLeod. <laughs> Oh, now it's a Fado farce. That's money program. Banco. Link, come in. Oh, look at it. Yeah, it's Rinkman? You can blast off any time, Doc. What did you arrange with Cleolanda? She's sending two spaceships with troops to police this project. And can you hold on till they arrive? The troops will be taking over before the people here know that Paul Ray is missing. Come back as soon as you can, Doc. I miss we'll you. Need you here. miss you a lot. Good flying. And for your good hunting, you'll have to find Rocky Jones. Good Out. fishing, good camping, good eating. Goodbye. I found Rocky Jones. Where are Paul Ray and my crew? You're a little late, Rocky. <laughs> Where are they? They're due to blast off Casa 7 at any moment. On which ship? There's only two they ships out there. On my spaceship. Don't let them blast off, Rickman. Stop bluffing, Rocky. You try to hold the ship. You've got to stop them. The ship's in danger of blowing up. Folks, let's relive the scene we just did, only this time. Bingo. Woohoo! Shook myself up. Never really did that before. Will the person with the shiny rocket please move it? It's glaring. Starboard rocket. I'm wearing my strip of bacon today. Ah, <laughs> uh, somebody jammed okay? a potato in the exhaust pipe. Yeah, it registers. Try the starboard rocket again. Jeez, ah! I was just talking to my analyst and things got weird. Dr. Vanko, Link, come in. Urgent. That's the signal, Doc. Take it. Yo. Dr. Vanko. Doc, trouble. Rocky Jones on his way to the ship. Hold blast off. Take him. We'll handle him. Yes, it's Dr. Smith and Mr. Mooney. Have you never seen them before? <laughs> Romeo, Romeo, we're here. Open the hatch, then keep recovering. Okay, now, we'll turn out the lights, and when he comes in, oh, this is going to be so good. Forget it. Take my This one's mine. And away! Good job, Winky. 
Wakey. Ow. That's for Betty and for Tawny. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, Winky. Oh, just in Times Square, bud. <laughs> I knew Rocky was all right, Peter. You don't know nothing, you little punk. Oh, Bobby. Oh, Paul, you don't know how close you came to oblivion. Oh, Paul. Hagar knew loaded the rockets with Tonite Alpha. Wow. It was lucky I thought of knocking out those fuel pumps, wasn't it? I knew we could depend on you, Winky. Bobby showed us a new trick with his penknife. It's a trick he out of me. the door controls. Well, I had to do something, didn't I, Rocky? Well, that's why you took me along. <laughs> Bobby, you were wonderful. Oh, Paul, there are a couple of more prisoners at your quarters we have to pick up to add to these. And throw and Bobby we've got to take them back to Earth to turn them in. Oh, did you find the orbit jet? Yes, and she's ready for blast off. And so am I. Oh, Paul, one more detail. Fight there me. are two spaceships headed here from Ophetius. I'll know what to do with them. Blast them. Oh, happiness fades back to the dark recesses of my hideous life. Mm. Looks like you got the worst of it, Ned. <laughs> hey, Rocky, what time do we land on Earth with our cargo of traders? Yeah, why is Betty waiting well, for you? Earth time. Oh, wonderful. Hey, how about using the astrophone? I've already reported to Secretary. Uh, and that's an eggplant, Winky. Yeah, well, uh, you see, I wanted to call Betty. I want to see if she's still waiting for me at the bandstand in Central Park. Oh, do it, space whack him. Ask her if she has a friend for you. <laughs> uh -oh. Is this it? Is this it? I'm holding my breath. Is this it? Yeah! What? No, you see, Joel, the thing is that I can't. Now, how would you like it if someone came up and. Now, Joel, come on. Being an amplifier makes my innards vibrate. Well, it just makes me feel all funny. Oh, come on, Tom. Crow's having a good time, aren't you? I wouldn't go that far, Joel. Hey, watch out for my eyes. They're brand new. Here, you guys. I'll sing a song. That'll probably make you feel better. Okay. Shadow me, okay, Mr. Amplifier? Okay. Sleepy little fella, nodding in my arms, couldn't keep your head up if you tried. Oh, it feels so much better now. Take your ship of slumber, where nothing harms, an astral boy who's on a starfield ride. Joe, for God's sake, I'm not a Stratocaster! Oh. <laughs> I got I got I got I got I got oh, I'm sorry you guys listen I got a uh, I got a uh, letter here and I put that up on still store cam but this is from Ty Rickman and he's got some pictures there cool they're pretty neat, aren't they? Could you hurry it up a bit? Yeah. I'm not sure how long I can hold this position. Okay, please. All right, I'm going to no. read Ty's letter by okay. using the golden throat. Oh, no, okay, no, here Joel, we go. not the golden throat. I'm all for... Wow, 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 wow. I really love you. I really dig your way, hip show. I'll tape you on Friday nights. Watch you as you happen on Saturday morning. And watch the one I taped afterwards. I'm back up to back. It's the only way to go. Tom Servo really needs a woman. Keep up the good work. I really want to... No, no, come on, Joel. On top of everything, I've got to put up with these gratuitous insults and to think of all I do for the ship around here. Well, I simply had it, my friend. Hey, you know what? Let's see what the system can really do. Okay, no, here no, comes no, a please, Pete please, Townsend please, windmill. Please, here we go. Please, I do. What do you think, sir? So anyway, reading John Paul Sartre opened up a whole new world for me. Suddenly being a shift supervisor at Arby's wasn't enough anymore. I had to say to myself, I have to do what's right for Frank. I have to do what's going to make Frank feel good in this cold, heartless, modern world. Frank, when I get out of this, I'm going to kill you. Ah, the existence of vague threats that no one can do anything about. It's not a vague threat, Frank. I'm going to kill you.
been a presentation from Comedy Central. What happened? Chevy, in a minute we gotta talk. You're canceled. How do you get canceled out of a commercial? You're not getting the ratings, Chevy. Uh, I like this stuff. Well, keep the bag, Chev. Oh, you're a sport. You look great. Tough year. Good chip. Doritos, tortilla thins. Everything else is just a chip. Yep, it's a dull, boring morning. 65 degrees. No wind. No clouds. Dull. Yeah, I wash, I get pimples. I use soap, I get pimples. I use cleansers, I get pimples. I get clear stick, I get fewer pimples. Clear so clear stick gets under your skin for 11, 25, up to 53% fewer pimples. Wow, this is huge. Clear so clear stick. It's a real pimple prevention invention. Wherever you're waking up, there's freshly brewed coffee by the cup. Folgers Coffee Singles is ground roast Folgers in its own filter for one great cup anywhere. Best part of waking up is singles in your cup. Fearless. <laughs> Daring. Jim Carrey is Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Yes, yes, yes! Rated PG-13. Now playing at a theater near you. You're at Comedy Central. Coming up at 2, watch Pepsi's A-List. And at 2.30, watch 2 Drink Minimum. This is Pepsi's A-List. Stay tuned for the finest stand-up comedy. They continue to want a taller host. I don't know why. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching uh, the A-list. And uh, quite frankly, uh, did you just throw up? I'm just, I'm just curious. Oh. <laughs> no, we're, we're fine. I'll continue the show. Ambulance table three. Ambulance table three. A lot of pressure doing the A-list. These are like the best comedians in, uh, in the country. So it's a lot of pressure. I try to relax. And I'm up the stairs and. Uh, I listen to rock and roll, but at night, I don't know about you guys, but uh, classical music, you know, I only know a couple of names, but I go to sleep with classical music, and 
on occasion, I hear like, oh, you know, the things that like really changes your life. Oh, my God. You know, like, you know, you don't care if you're in a bad relationship. You hear a piece of music. So like about a month ago, I heard this piece like four in the morning. Went, I was just like mesmerized by it. And I called like the classical station and I said, well, it was on from 4.15 a.m. to 4.23 a.m. I know because I was, it was, I forget the name of it. It was, uh, I think it was called something like the Flying Squirrel Sonata, something like that. And, <laughs> But I never got it. But I'm, I'm sort of a rock and roll kind of guy. And um, uh, But anyway, speaking of rock and roll, tonight we're going to rock and roll. We have, well, two of my oldest friends and two of the funniest guys in the business, Bruce Bam and Fred Wolf. Huh? Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And when I say ladies and germs, you know, you guys, I'm just, you know, it's vaudevillian. So look, I shouldn't do vaudevillian here. Look at this. This is like, um, this is frightening, isn't it? Let's face it. This is like, uh... Hey, if you have a joke, send it to the A-list. <laughs> How much can you do every week? You know, I'm, it's, I'm under a lot of pressure. But I am a rock and roll guy, and uh, one of my idols is, uh, you know, I had a Dylan, and I had a chance, you know, being so old now, I found out that people actually know me, who I idolized. Dylan wanted to actually meet me, I swear to God, before one of his shows. I went to like a thousand last year. The traffic jam in L.A., missed him. Could have talked to the D man. I couldn't believe it. And I, now I just fantasize. What would he have said to me? You know, <laughs> you're the Jew. You're hunched over. We need a Democrat in the office. I mean, thank you, Bob. I mean, I don't do it. That wasn't a good impression of Bob. I, I, that, that was a little Popeye thrown in there for no reason. <laughs> I try to sing myself. I have a little guitar. I know three chords A, C, and D. A hen could do it. Then when you go to A7, you have to be like Houdini escaping from a pool. Can't do it. I, in the shower, I'm great. I want to sing the blues. Yeah. Ah, I want to get it. Ah, I'm so good. Then I get out of the shower. I get to my bed. I have the beginner's book by the bedroom. I have my little, my little guitar there. And I go, uh, Jimmy, Jim, Jimmy Crack Corn. And I don't know. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. Anyway. We'll be right back, ladies and germs, with Mr. Bruce Baum. Get the cheese you need in half the time. Well, watch out for that. Uh, oh, well, never mind. Watch the Mystery Science Theater Hour, weeknights at 8, here at Comedy Central. In an ongoing research project to determine the ultimate beverage, I'm isolating superstar model Cindy Crawford in a Pepsi deprivation chamber. I'll do anything for science. We're allowing Cindy a wide range of beverages, but not a single solitary drop of Pepsi. You're hip. You'll be all right. Cindy, how do you feel? I don't know about you guys, but I'm dying for a Pepsi. Conclusive scientific proof. Pepsi is the ultimate beverage. Here we are on the road again, telling the world about the wonders of cable. Hi, sorry I'm late. I ran into a little snowstorm. And this, folks, is to illustrate my point about the future. Do you know what you can do with cable television in the future? You're going to be able to access information, shop at home, order any kind of movies. You're going to be able to play video games. It's going to be a whole new world. Cable is going to enable you to use television in a whole new way. And with that, I wish you all a fond adieu. Okay, fella, who's next? Let's go this way. L.A. Tech Leap Gear, banned by the NBA. Too distracting for the league. Too extreme for the pro game. Well, too bad for them, because Foot Locker's got them. The new Leap Gear, they light when you leap. And the new Light Gear Cross Trainers, they light when you land. The new L.A. Techs, get them at Foot Locker before we're out. Now, be honest. Have you ever had a cat box order problem? No, never. What? Uh, you need Fresh Step Cat Litter, ma'am. It releases fresheners every time your cat steps. Only Fresh Step freshens with every step. Uh, do you have a problem with cat box odor? No, I don't. Huh? Well, evidently you need Scoop Fresh Scoopable Litter from Fresh Step. It freshens even when you're not scooping. Yeah, why just scoop when you can scoop fresh? Oh.
I've been doing some musical research and I found out it was actually white people that came up with rap music. Oh, they call it square dancing. <laughs> you guys read that new Kinsey sex survey that just came out? They found out that 27% of all women need less than 15 minutes of foreplay to become aroused. 49% need more than 15 minutes. Conversely, 97% of all men only needed to hear the words, come and get it. <laughs> oh, boy. Talk about bad luck. My uncle just paid to have cryogenics done. That's where they freeze you when you die. Do they find a cure what you died from? Then yesterday died of hypothermia. <laughs> okay, the next time I get a response, next time I get a response that week, we're going into poetry. And I mean poetry like this. Frozen pond. Stupid frog. Splat. <laughs> well, some of you are going, wait a minute. That was a haiku. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my television last night, but on the same station I was getting C-SPAN and the Home Shopping Network, and I actually bought a congressman. <laughs> I'm in the market today. A guy runs up behind me and yells, the majority of people that say they're deaf are faking it. I said, hey, pal, I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> There's some, a lot of people may not know this. Sinead O'Connor, very big here in her home country, even bigger than her is her brother, Shinola O'Connor. <laughs> he doesn't sell well to here, though, because folks here can't tell Sinead from Shinola. <laughs> Went to Victoria's Secret to get something for my wife. Anybody ever been to Victoria's Secret? You know, a sales lady came over and asked if she could help, and I said, yeah, no thanks, I'm just sniffing. <laughs> But I got her a pair of those musical panties. And they're pretty cool, except it's embarrassing in public. Every time she sits down, you hear a muffled doo wah ditty. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want to give everybody a couple little water saving tips since we're in the middle of a drought here. First of all, everybody's shower head is about this high. If you lower your shower head to here, you save all that water from here to here the entire time that you're taking a shower. <laughs> now that's just physics. Now, the other thing is, guys tend to let the water run when they're shaving, and that's a big waste, and that's why I endorse new shtick shaving tape. You simply put the tape on your face and rip the beard off. <laughs> now, I didn't shave today, so I could uh, demonstrate how this works, so if you'll bear with me for just a second while I apply the tape to my face. Okay, here we go. One, two, go! It's stuck! Go! Go! Oh, no! <laughs> I got a limited effects budget, it's only gonna look so real. <laughs> well, isn't it amazing some of these guys are letting out on parole that have no business out on the streets? There was a guy, true story, this guy dismembered his girlfriend, sent her parts in the mail, this guy's out on parole so long as he takes his pills. Now can you imagine being at a party with this guy when he goes... I can't believe some of the mergers are letting happen. You guys see the company that makes Clorox also makes kitty litter and barbecue sauce. <laughs> you got the board sitting around going, you know, we already make bleach and kitty litter. Why the hell aren't we making barbecue sauce? <laughs> you guys done a research bump into each other. You just got bleach on the kitty litter. No, no, you got kitty litter on the bleach. Hey, put another shrimp on the Barbie. That's <laughs> it. You guys familiar with Elliot's peripheral extrapolation theorem? Oh, that's the one that states that depending on the size of an enclosure, i.e. an aquarium or terrarium, that the animal, i.e. fish or lizard that you put in that enclosure, will grow depending on the size and room it has to grow in. And based on that, I've been wearing some very large underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I got pulled over by the cops the other day. I'm with my wife. We get pulled over by the cops. I'm telling you it was harassment, and I told the cop. I said, listen, copper, I've had it to hear with you guys. This is harassment. This is what I want. I want your name. I want your badge number. I want the name of your superior officer because you're messing with the wrong guy, and this is not stopping here. And he was stunned because he just looked at me and went, uh, can you roll down your window? <laughs> Anybody here from Oklahoma City? Yeah. Uh, well, you'll be able to vouch for me. I was there, and Oklahoma City is probably the only town in the country you can drive a Ford Fairmont into a parking lot, and people come out and admire your car. <laughs> <laughs> it was in Alaska. When I got to Alaska, it was so cold you could actually walk outside and watch the northern migration of the witch's tits. <laughs> I am Zykor, keeper of the sunglasses of obedience. I shall 